This is the tunable laser source that we'll be using in our experiment. This uh, tunable laser source comprises of three different modules, which is here. These three different modules will give us three different wavelengths. Uh, this will comprise our three channels of the DWDM system. The three channels will be coupled by the DWDM coupler to a single output fiber. So this is a 8 times 1 DWDM coupler. And this can maximum up to 8 channels can be coupled inside a single fiber by this DWDM coupler. And the output of this coupler will be connected to a port 1 of the circulator. The circulator is the device over here. The circulator comprises of three ports and for a signal of port 1 will be transmitted to port 2 over here. And the port 2 is connected to a frequency selector, our FPG. The FPG is uh, fixed on the translation stage for us to tune the wave, uh, reflection wavelength of the FPG. So at this point of time, uh, one of the wavelength will be reflected by the FPG and the other two will be transmitted. And this transmitted spectrum can be viewed by the OSA here. So as you can see, the OSA display has two channels displayed. So one of them has been reflected by the FPG. Dope fiber amplifier, uh, EDFA. So in order for us to do an all optical amplification of the alternated signal we have just now, we input the alternated signal into the input of the EDFA. And the output of the EDFA, we have connected it to the OSA to see the increased spectrum we have. Now let's take a look at the spectrum. You can see that the signal has been increased. Now it's actually 30 dB. The baseline of the noise has also increased. This is because of the ASE caused by the